In this video, I will be showing you 10 powerful registry tweaks to optimize Windows 10 slash 11 for maximum performance. These tweaks are specifically designed to help you achieve better FPS in gaming, giving you a smoother and more responsive gaming experience. So welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more helpful content and tips. So guys, in the very first step, you need to go straight to your Windows search and search for Registry Editor and make sure to run this as administrator for having full access. In the Registry Editor, we are going to disable driver searching. Disabling driver searching improves system performance by preventing unnecessary online driver searches, ensuring faster installations, and reducing potential security risks from incompatible drivers. Simply copy the path from the description, open the Registry Editor, paste it into the search bar, and press Enter. After navigating to the specified directory, right-click, select the New option, and click on Dord, 32-bit, Value. Name the new value TDR Delay, ensuring you use the same capitalization, and press Enter. Next, right-click on it, select Modify, and set the base to Hexadecimal. Change the value to 10, which increases the timeout detection and recovery TDR Delay to prevent driver resets. Finally, click OK to save the settings in the registry editor. Now, for the next step, we are going to enable system power management. This will enhance performance, particularly for PCs running faster. Simply copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar, and press Enter. Once you're there, locate the Hibernate Enabled entry. Right-click on it, select Modify, and change the value data to zero. Set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. This allows the system to save the current state to the hard drive, enabling faster startup times and preserving open applications and documents. It also reduces power consumption compared to sleep mode, making it ideal for laptops to conserve battery life while not being in use. Now, for the next step, we are going to disable prefetch and superfetch on the PC. Copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar, and press Enter. Once you're there, locate the setting for Enable Prefetcher. Double-click on it and set the value data to zero. Disabling these features can improve performance, particularly on systems with SSDs. Ensure the base is set to hexadecimal, then click OK. This will help optimize your system's performance. Now, copy the path from the description again, open the registry editor and paste it into the search bar. Press Enter to navigate to the correct location. Once you're there, right-click, select New, and create another DORD 32-bit value. Name this new entry No Load Disk Space Checks. Press Enter, double-click on the entry, set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. This tweak will help improve your system's efficiency by disabling unnecessary disk space checks. Next, we're going to increase the system responsiveness. Copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar, and press Enter. Once you're there, locate the Responsiveness entry. Double-click on it, set the value data to zero, and set the base to hexadecimal. This change will allocate more CPU power to foreground applications, which will improve performance in gaming and other resource-intensive tasks. Ensure the base is set to hexadecimal, apply the same settings, and then click OK. Next, we are going to increase our file system caching. Copy the path from the description, go to the Registry Editor search bar, paste it here, and hit Enter you will find IO Page Lock Limit. Right-click, go for New, and select Dord 32-bit value. Name it IO Page Lock Limit, and press Enter. Double-tap here, set the value data to 51,200, set the base to hexadecimal, and hit OK. Next, we're going to optimize the registry to reduce shutdown time. This will decrease the amount of time Windows waits to stop services during shutdown. Copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar, and press Enter. Once you're there, locate Wait to Kill Service Timeout. Double-click on it, change the value data to 2000 milliseconds, and click OK. This tweak will help speed up the shutdown process. Now, for the next step, we're going to enable faster boot time. This will make your PC boot up faster, especially on low-end systems. Copy the path from the description, go to the search bar, paste it here, and press Enter. Right-click, go for New, and select Dord 32-bit value. Name it Enable ULPS and press Enter. This is the ultra-low power state. Double-tap, change the value data to zero for faster boot time. Set the base to hexadecimal and hit OK. Now we are going to optimize our network performance for gaming. 
Copy the path from the description, search for it, and hit enter. In the first place, you'll need to edit your GPU priority. Double tap, set the value data to 8, set the base to hexadecimal and hit OK. Next, go for purity, double tap, set the value data to 6, and hit OK. Now, find scheduling category, double tap, and set the value data to high. Hit OK and save the settings on your PC. For the last optimization of this step, we're going to adjust our CPU priority for background services. Again, copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar, and press Enter. Once you're there, locate Win32 Priority Separations. This setting helps optimize your system's responsiveness for multitasking. Double-click on it, change the value data to 26, set the base to hexadecimal, and click OK. This will improve how your system handles background tasks, boosting overall efficiency. After applying all these settings, simply close out of your registry editor. Now download LogoFast. To boost FPS and reduce ping in Fortnite, download and install LogoFast. Link available in description box. So after installing this tool, here you will find this kind of interface of the LegoFast. So now here on the left side, you will find an option for optimizing your PC or your console for getting the easy lobby and for boosting your FPS in any game. So guys, go for the Home tab. There you will find all installed apps and games available on your PC. If you just go for the PC tab here, you will find all the games available on your PC. So guys, here we want to optimize Fortnite. So you need to go for this boost button. This will also optimize your ping and also help you to boost the FPS. This is right now one of the best pieces of software in the market, which helps you to optimize your ping and optimize your PC performance at the same time with just a single click. So guys, here you can check out here. Our PC is connected with the LagoFast server, and the LagoFast server is connected with the Bahrain server. So now once you have boosted your favorite game, now go for the start game option and note your game using this option for boosting the FPS and for getting the lower. Now you need to download this part control setup in your PC for that. Go to my website and download this tool. After downloading, simply extract this folder on desktop and open this folder and install this part control setup in your PC. So after installation, guys, here you can see that the interface of this tool. So in the first step, you need to set the profile from balance to bitsum. High performance, bitsum high performance, optimizes system processes and prioritizes critical tasks, boosting overall speed and responsiveness for demanding applications. So simply make it active. Now, disable this Parking AC, Parking DC, and Freck Scaling AC, and also disable Freck Scaling DC and Set. All these numbers of cores. On 100%, after that check. Mark this Bitsum Dynamic Boost enabled and also set here. Bitsum Highest Performance and set the time before PC, considered idle in second on 300, and hit. OK, simply click Apply and hit. OK, after that, here is some best Windows settings to get better performance for your game. So simply search for power in the Windows search bar and select Edit Power Plan. Under Power Options, choose Bitsum High Performance. Then go to Change Plan Settings, then Change Advanced Power Settings. Set the Hard Disk to Zero. And under Processor Power Management, set both Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State to 100%. Click Apply and OK. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content.